West Central Conference meet Macomb today. Heavy favorites in a number of events. They've seen each other plenty of times already this year, and they continue to do that today. The story of the day was Mr. Jacob Scholl from Illini West, but we're going to get to him in a minute. First off, we're starting with the girls' 100-meter hurdles. That's Megan Eilers right there from Central. She'd be blazing across the finish line in front of everybody else. 16-5 over the line. Her teammate Lauren Glink coming in second right there. Boys 100 meter hurdles right here. Jacob Poor from Macomb. He is just flying out ahead of everybody. Look at that with the nice orange tights. He comes across the line right there. Connor Artman, the freshman from IW, comes in second with a 17-2. And Jacob May from Liberty, he finished up in third place. Girls 100 meter dash. We have the speedsters out here today. Michaela Gronwald of Illini West. She is just going to get that by the tip of her nose right there. 12.59, she gets it done going 100 meter. And how about this? The best one of the day, Mr. Jacob Scholl. You can pick him out very easily right in the middle there with that headband. And no one is even going to come close to this young man. Looks like he's just running effortlessly right there. Comes over the line, 11.2. Mr. Scholl does it in the 100 meter dash. And he was just getting warmed up right there. How about the girls, 800 right here. Mariah Brody of Illini West. She was just way out ahead of everybody right there. Her time, 220.1 right there. Second place, Megan Lee. She'd be chugging along, doing some nice work. Ashley Plum of Macomb, just well beyond her. She would come in third, and Caitlin Obert of Liberty. She would be finishing things up in fourth place in the girls' 800 meter. How about the boys' 800 meter? Jacob Scholl doing more work. Kid was just a dynamo out there today. Comes across in first place. Will Lucy of West Hancock. You're going to see him coming across right here in third place right there. Nice stuff for Mr. Lucy. He can do it on the track and field, not only the wrestling mat. The girls, 400 right here. How about Miss Smith from Macomb? She was just a big-time runner today, and she was doing it. as She takes first place right here. Coming across the finish line, Allison Morgan, Blair Gangenbacher coming in third right there. Nice work from those girls. The, boy, the boys, 400, I should say. Here was Jacob Scholl again. He's going to take first place in this one. Damone Doyle of Macomb coming in second, but the real story was just Scholl. He would go on, win the 200, make it four for four on the day as we're going to take you to some of the overall standings right now. We'll take you to those. On the boys' side of things, Illini West wins it in a runaway, and it was thanks to a lot of different guys, including Blaze Murphy of Illini West. He wins the shot put, wins the discus. No surprise there, but a nice name to remember. Andy Bird, a freshman out of West Hancock, did a story on him over the summer. He comes in second place in the boys' shot. He also comes in third place in the discus, so congrats to him as well. On the girls' side of things, the Macomb girls, they get it done, and they win at first place. Illini West right there in second. Monroe's in third and central, wrapping it up in fourth place right there. How about some golf scores to pass along? Sectionals today, class two, sectional two. How about Palmyra coming in third place right there? Nice work from them. Also today, we have the class three sectional. Hannibal getting it done with 327 as they're moving on. They qualify as a team to state Tanner Cook with a 74 on the day in the class one sectional three Louisiana finishes in third place Dallas Castagna and two other Bulldogs going to be moving on to state in that one how about we take you over to Canton little girls soccer action that's Lauren Poltatakis right there she's going to be your student athlete of the week tomorrow from Holy Trinity Catholic beautiful ball early from Mayor Adley Randolph right here she's going to send Lauren Lauren's going to use the left foot Poke that one in the left side. She gets her 16th goal of the year right there to make it 1-0 in favor of HTC. How about this right here? Emily McKinstry, this girl could have had five goals on the day. She was all over the place. Fires this one just wide for Canton. If she's not able to convert on that, how about some more work for HTC right here, though? Kristen Brink going to be sending a nice little ball. Lauren Poltataka is going to get her foot on that one. Put it in the net for a second goal of the game. 17th goal of the season, folks. And then Abby Boating, who had a hat trick the other day. Nice little pass from Lauren Poltataka right here. Abby's going to roof that one. Top shelf. Mama hides the cookies up there. She gets it done. Holy Trinity does as well as they beat Canton 3-1 to one over there. How about some scores to pass along to you? Boys side of things, Fort Madison gets it done one to nothing up there. The girls, I should say. The boys, they're victorious 6-2 to two over Washington behind Braxton Williams. Four goals. And we should say that the boys of Keokuk lost to Fairfield 8-2 to today. And the girls in Missouri, Hannibal gets it done 8 to nothing. A bunch of uh, baseball scores to pass along to you. Let's run through them really quick. Illini West, a winner today over Central. West Hancock gets it done 12-1. to Grigsville Perry on the softball side of things beats Liberty. Illini West loses to West Hancock. QHS falls to Jacksonville over in Missouri. Scotland County, a winner over Putnam County, 11-1. Plenty of other scores that didn't make it on here tonight. They're going to be online. Canton gets it done over Highland as well. 
14-3 behind Lance Logsdon's home run and seven RBIs. But like I said, Lauren Portakis, your student athlete of the week from Holy Trinity, that's going to be on tomorrow at 6 o'clock. Excellent. Look forward to that. See you after break.